The upcoming new moon and solar eclipse on June the 10th really brings the key theme, the key energy theme of a deep inner healing to awaken more fully. In this video today, I was guided to share with you the five key things that you really should know about this powerful event to really make the most out of this deep inner healing so you can awaken more fully. So stay tuned. Hello there beautiful soul. In case you don't know me, my name is Kay Sanders. I'm a divine messenger and celestial healer helping awakening souls on their spiritual awakening journey so they can really awaken to their power within, create more success, abundance, and freedom in their life all while making a bigger impact in the world. Now if that's you, if you're new to this channel, I want to invite you please be sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos since I do release every Tuesday and every Thursday. So be sure to subscribe. Now, with this upcoming new moon and solar eclipse, I mean, we are really in a powerful, powerful time right now because since the last full moon on May the 26th, that was the utter eclipse. That was the gateway opening. And now on June the 10th, the eclipse gateway is closing again. So right now we're in this really amazing period right now where a lot of healing and clearing and cleansing is really happening. And with the closing of the solar eclipse on June the 10th, which also falls on the new moon, and we're also in Mercury retrograde. I mean, this is like a, th a triple whammy right there. It really brings that energy of deep inner healing so you may awaken more fully. I mean, everything that's been happening this year, it's really with the main purpose of us awakening, us souls finally awakening to that next level, to that next level of who we really are. And right now, as we're in this window between the eclipses, it's really that powerful time. So you may have noticed a lot has been shifting for you. Maybe you have been cleansing and purging and healing and those type of things. So which is a really powerful time, which is really, really a great time. But in today's video, I really felt guided to share these five key things with you so you can really make the most out of this powerful time that we're in right now. The first key thing is that a healing is taking place. Now, in order to awaken, well, we need to release a lot of those old layers, those old paradigms that are really keeping us stuck in the old. So right now, in this time right now, a lot of healing is taking place to release those old layers, those old wounds, those old paradigms that are simply outdated and they're no longer serving you on your path moving forward. Now, you may have been experiencing that in your heart has been opening your heart chakra maybe you are feeling like some sort of a pulsating a constriction and, and and opening up again so you may feel a lot in your heart center right now because it's through your awakening through the healing you're releasing a lot and your heart center is opening up so it's really a powerful time so here what I feel guided to share with you is just put your hands over your heart and just focus on your heart center you know just breathe in light and love and allow this to unfold allow this healing this opening to unfold because it's really to your highest and greatest good then the second part the second piece that i think you should know is that you're going through a rebirthing process you are being reborn to a new you now as you can probably imagine as you're healing and releasing well you're going to come out on the other side as a new you so right now you're really going through this rebirthing process now i do feel guided to share with you a video that i recently released it's a light language transmission to really help you on your spiritual awakening journey to help you release the layers that are now ready to be released to move on to the next part because like I mentioned, everything happening this year, it's really the main purpose is that we awaken. And in order to do so, we need to heal, we need to re uh, release, and we also need to be reborn. So this light language transmission that I put the link in the description below will help you clear out some of that stuck energy that is really holding you back from really taking that next step. Then the third thing that I think you should know is that new doors are now opening. Because as you are shifting, as you are releasing, you are embodying new levels of energy. So with these new levels of energies, guess what happens? You attract newness into your life, new opportunities, new people, new things that are matching this new energy, this new level of energy that you have embodied. So if up until this point you felt a little stuck in your life, you were hoping that something new is going to happen, that more opportunities show up, 
as you are raising your vibration by letting go of a lot of the stuff that's been holding you back, you shift in vibration and then you're sending out a completely different signal and then also you are attracting things that are matching your new way of being because as you're healing and releasing and uplifting, you show up as a new way of, you know, you show up differently in your life. So then, of course, you're attracting new things as well. So new doors are now opening for you where when doors may have seemed kind of closed and stuck before, now they're opening up because you are shifting, you are changing, you're growing, you're being reborn. And you're also then embodying those new levels of energies, those new levels of vibration. And of course, you're going to then attract what you are an energetic match to, right? So it's really an exciting time right now where newness, a lot of newness is happening right now. New doors are opening. So I want to advise you, be open to that. Really be open to that newness to show up in your life, those new opportunities, new people, new uh, just new things that are really assisting you on your move, on your path moving forward. And then the fourth part is that you will then also feel an inner pull to really step into your power, to step it up, to do more, be more, have more expansive experiences. So if up until this point you were holding back out of fear and doubt or anything like that, now you also with this opening up of your heart center, you're then also feeling more called to realize that, you know what, I've been playing small. So you may feel called to really step it up. Because there's a part within you that is now being activated to really step into your power. Because if you're listening to this, then you probably already have heard that calling that more is possible for you. And now with we are all being supported with every one of those energetic events, whether it's a full moon, new moon, Mercury retrograde, we are being assisted to ascend, to move forward. So allow yourself to take that time to really dive deep and uncover what is it that you are meant to do. Because we're being assisted to move forward because we all have a very powerful, very important soul's purpose here in, in this lifetime. So now with this new moon, with this solar eclipse and even Mercury retrograde, you're being activated within to really step into your power. You will have that inner desire to step it up. Maybe you also feel more trusting that, you know what, I got this, I can do this. Which then also causes you to feel the inner stirring of stepping up in your life, your work, your career, your, your business, whatever it is that you're doing, or just you showing up in a more uplifted way each and every day as well. So you have that deep inner desire to really step up your life as a whole. Now, one thing that I had mentioned in the previous uh, full moon video is that a whole chapter, not just a chapter, but a whole new story is being written now. You have the opportunity to write a new story. So what has been before, it was really a closing of that. And now you get to really write a whole new story. So it really goes hand in hand with what I'm sharing with you today about the heart center opening, the rebirthing, the stepping, you know, feeling that inner desire to really step it up and really tap into your inner strength. So allow yourself to follow that because then you get to really be the author of your own life and write a completely new story. It's not just a chapter in your life, but you really now have the opportunity to change your entire life if you want to and really up level every single area of your life if you so choose. It is within your power. Which brings me to the fifth and final thing that I think you should know is that you now also have the opportunity to choose you to choose love over fear. Because with this rebirthing, well, you're gonna feel more empowered. This inner inner empowerment is being stirred as well, where you then now have the opportunity to choose you, to choose your path, to choose love over fear, to choose trust over doubt, and really move forward. And I'm gonna invite you, anytime you're feeling challenged or when you, whenever you're feeling like in lack and doubt and worry or you're wondering that maybe this is too big for me, maybe I can't do this and I'm not good enough or anything like that. Whenever you feel challenged in your life, maybe you're feeling challenged right now as you're listening to this. Maybe you feel challenged about 
thinking about what is it that you're here to do. I want to invite you to tune into your heart and to choose love over fear because your mission in this lifetime, your soul's purpose, your soul's mission in this lifetime is way more important than any doubt, any fear, any disbelief, any lackful thinking, any, any of that stuff. Because that is just your ego's way of trying to keep you stuck. Keep you in that old story. But you're being reborn right now. You're being uplifted. Your heart center is opening up. You're being activated to really step into your power. So I want to invite you, whenever you're feeling challenged, to tune into your heart and to choose love over fear. When you choose love, you can't be afraid because then you're also trusting and choose trust over worry, over doubt. Because you have been placed in this lifetime, right in this moment, for a reason. And allow yourself to really step into power and do move forward. Because like I just mentioned, your mission, your destiny, your soul's desire, your soul's work, your soul's mission is so much more important than any fear, any doubt, any disbelief, any of that stuff. So allow yourself to choose you to choose your path, to choose your soul's mission, your soul's desire, and you will be just all right. Just take those aligned actions based on what you feel called to do. So I want to invite you to do some action steps here. Now, leading up to the new moon and solar eclipse, I want to invite you to take some time where you can be undisturbed. Go somewhere in your room, play some nice music, take your pen and paper with you or your journal, and just just tune in and get centered and journal about those five key things that I just mentioned to you about the rebirth, about the opening of the heart, stepping into your power, the doors opening and those type of things. And just journal about that. What is coming up for you? you also uncover where are you choosing fear over love? Where are you choosing disbelief and worry over trust? Allow yourself to gain some clarity around that and then allow yourself to just choose differently. When you have written your stuff down, allow yourself to choose and decide that it's no more. You're not going to be held back by all that limited stuff anymore because it, that's not you no, you, you no more. You now get to choose what is that next story of your life going to be to entail. Tell that new story. Allow yourself to write that new story. You're really that powerful. But I just want to say thank you so much for being here, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed these five uh, key things today. If you did do me a favor, hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Maybe share it with someone that may could benefit from hearing this as well. And I'm so grateful that you were tuning in. Be sure to check out that video I mentioned about this, uh, the light language activation. I will see you again in the next video. Until then, make an amazing, abundant, successful day. Namaste.